was suffering with this shirk all over. Somebody brings back Tawheed, now they want to attack this individual in order to revive shirk. So that shirk can be revived and so the Islam can be watered down again and so... Uh, or, or a guy who can't even put a sentence together who looks like a crackhead. Can't even speak a couple of words of Arabic. Uh, Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab, is he your patron saint or something? We mean the da'wah of Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab. Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab, as much as his works have benefit in there, which we're not denying, he was an absolute warlord. Him and his bandits slaughtered, made blanket takfir, chain takfir, slaughtered Arabian tribes and beyond. When they gained a bit of power, they went and butchered whoever disagreed with them because they believed they were the deen. They believed they were the epitome of Islam. You disagree with them, you disagree with Islam. So hence, by default, disagreeing with the early Najdi or Muhammad Abdul Wahab or Muhammad bin Saud would render you an apostate. Are you an absolute idiot? Let's be honest, no Muslim would accuse any believer of targeting a Tawheed. These brothers believe that they are Islam. They are the gatekeepers of Islam. And then you hear these buzzwords like the people of the Sunnah. They embody the deen totally. We ain't gonna stand for this. And you know you're feeling the heat. We're clapping back. We are giving you a taste of your medicine. You don't like this pressure. You're weak winding anyway. You're a little weakling, son. Uh...